It's Leah again. Today I'm going to be going through another collab notebook from our ML Art collabs list. Today I'll be going over this 3D Ken Burns effect collab notebook that Manuel Romero went ahead and put into collab from this paper. 3D Ken Burns effect from a single image. This paper, the primary author, is Simon Nicholas from Portland State and then some other people from Adobe Research and PSU. If we just do a quick skimming of the paper. The 3D Ken Burns effect from a single image is you input a particular image, for instance this one, and then it goes ahead and does some depth estimation and inpainting to create this zooming 3D effect. If we go, I think on page four, they have a comparison between two previous methods, deep lens right here and mega depth. In this top row, as a comparison between these buildings, the first two previous techniques have warping in the building, whereas you can see with their depth estimation that the building remains pretty, pretty straight. They also talk about in the second row that the boy, especially in the center, the boy's head gets kind of stuck in the, in the background, whereas with their depth estimation, it's like doing a pretty good job. And yeah, let's go back to our collab notebook. It looks like the setup of this is we're going to clone the repo. If we go ahead and command click through here, we can check out the repo itself in Simon Nicholas's uh, GitHub. Here's all the code. So the cell will go ahead and pull this, and it should appear in our file system right here. Yeah. And all of this is just kind of set up and downloading some pre-trained models importing some libraries, installing some libraries, and yeah, essentially just setting up our environment to go ahead and run. So here I'm just pressing shift and enter to run through all of these cells. Now here, this is just some boilerplate code for this file picker. So let's go ahead and upload some photos we want to transform. Um, I'll pick out this, which is an image of a, a photo collage me and a couple of friends did. It's 100% uploaded. It's right here in this images folder. And now let's go ahead and run this code. This code will go ahead and actually run the model, the pre-trained models on our input image, the collage that PNG. It looks like this ran into this error message saying that there is no module named G event. This is probably um, an oversight within the collab notebook itself. No module named G event. So I can go ahead and just install it in the collab notebook. Usually if, let me go ahead and add this code cell. Um, and I'm going ahead and putting this little exclamation point in the front to run this command in the shell and shift enter. This will install the module called G event, which means we should be all set to run this code above. And let's try that again. And now this is uh, going ahead and running this on our collage photo. building video is writing the video and this will be saved in results in this folder once it's done collage.mp4 so when this number reaches 100% looks like it's done we can go ahead and download our video and check it out Woo. now let's see the moment of truth nice cool so you can see here it's like doing a pretty good job this also wasn't a realistic photo to start with this was another photo I tried out earlier. And I also have another demo of this, which I put in earlier as well. So that is pretty much it. At the end, this includes some code to download all the videos in this results folder. Um, I just downloaded them one by one in this example, but you can run the cell to do that. And yeah, that's about it for this 3D Ken Burns effect notebook. Yeah, more videos will be posted on collab demos from Derek and I. If you have questions, leave a comment or ask in our 
artificial images slack and stay tuned thank you